Greetings all. Well, got a little rain this morning. Yeah, I've been out weeding the watermelons. <laughs> yeah. yeah, weeding planters. Uh, oh, even doing some weeding in the nursery pots. And well, then I went after transplanting lettuce seedlings this morning. Uh, I also took off after chives. Yeah. <laughs> We use a lot of chives around here. That's a real good onion relative for this area of the world. I think so far I've found three onion relatives that just thrive here and they're easy. Mm -hmm. Chives, definitely. Koba, which is a multiplier green onion, a multiplier scallion from Japan. Um, University of Hawaii has it, UH Manoa. Uh, when it's in stock <laughs> and leeks regular old-time European leek yeah all three of those they don't seem to care about photo periods or vernalization or anything I plant the seeds as these grow and I get stuff garlic's a problem because uh, we don't have enough cold and the day lengths are wrong uh, with bulbing onions you have to have the right one if you got the right ones you know, like you're using the Granix hybrids or Pumba, um, you know, or some of those, Gabriella. You know, then you're going to get onions if you plant right and plant at the right time of the year and so on. But uh, no, those, those three for onions, man, it doesn't get any better. Chives just go and go and go and go and go and you go out and you cut them back and the more of them come uh, and they're so mild i often just use them as a salad green you know chop them up with the lettuce and cabbage and carrots put in a bowl with the salad dressing and my watermelons have been surprising me um they're doing pretty well i have some watermelons so oh, half the size of a softball they're icebox type the small watermelons so they're coming along um they've been uncovered and I'm not getting pickle worm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I, what's up? I, I sort of noticed in the past that pickle worms don't seem too attracted to the watermelon plant. Yeah, and so I'm I'm taking my chances. I could lose them at any time because of this, but whatever. <sighs> they grow watermelons here on the island. And they're for sale over at the store at KTA. If I screw up, I can go buy a watermelon from someone. Getting out and about a little bit around the island, just a little more than I had been for a while. And, uh, well, yeah, every time I get out there and start looking around, some things surprise me. I can still find a, a, a cheeseburger on the island for less than $4. Wow! Wow! Yeah, uh, of course, I can find a salad for 20 It depends on what restaurants you're going into. Uh, some of them have kept the prices down. They're, just, they're not going crazy with the, trying to, you know, sell a $10 burger. But uh, others, they just said, all right, that's it. We're jacking the prices. Well, you know, we don't have the tourists here right now. Uh, not at least as many as we once did and so i am seriously questioning when some of these guys are raising prices the way they are whether they're going to survive at that because i know when i walk in and i see that kind of stuff i go sorry there's another warm place down the street or when it gets really bad yeah i go home and cook one on the stove and this morning gracie brought me a mouse yes my good girl uh, she's been out mousing. I guess the rodents are coming back because if there had been mice, she'd have been bringing them, but she hasn't found many. Now, all of a sudden, I'm getting a mouse a day, <laughs> at least a mouse a day. Uh, she's getting smart, too. The last one, she brought it to the porch perfectly alive, and as soon as she set it down to show it to me, it went boom! Uh, and we had to do the mouse shotgun there to get it out of the pipe. But uh, this one, she... 
whether it was on purpose or not, she whacked the heck out of it before it got to the porch. It wasn't moving much when she brought it to me and said, look, Bill, I got a mouse. Don't you love me? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, she has a trip to the vet coming up, and uh, we're trying to get her set up, so maybe we can use a, use a leash. She finds the vest a little bit uncomfortable, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm hoping that this will work out. Mm -hmm. Gracie, you look great. Look at you. You're beautiful. Uh-huh. Yeah, your vest is so pretty. Is it a little weird? Hmm? Yeah, it's a little weird. We'll leave it. You'll be alright. Well, looks like Gracie's got herself another mouse. Good girl. Oh, boy. I tell you, you are just the best, Gracie. Excellent work. Excellent work. You most stop running, huh? You will sit on that mouse so it don't get away, huh? Good girl. Yeah. You my good mouser. Well, <laughs> that's about the size of it, okay? So, enjoy. Y'all have a, a great weekend. Aloha.